2000 at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu. We'll be back with more from Hawaii right after. Finally starting to come around as a quarterback. He's had a slow start. He's a 50% passer, and the key today is possession passing. A lot of short stuff by Mark McKay. Last week, uh, Vince Warren emerged to take some of the heat off of the other wide receiver. He had an outstanding game. Amazingly, he caught half of his season catches in last week's football game. He's got to take the pressure off the next young man, Jim Sandusky, number seven. He's the key, Sandusky. Uh, he's an outstanding All-American candidate, a great player in the kicking game, a lot of outstanding things he can do. Sandusky is a transfer from the University of Nevada at Las Vegas, where two years ago he caught 68 passes. Then with a the coaching change, decided to sit out a year under the NCAA transfer rules. So this is his first and final year at San Diego State. Mark McKay is a young man who has been around the country a bit. He signed a letter of intent with Wyoming out of high school, didn't like it there, and uh, went to a junior college his first year. And then uh, he went to Georgia and finally wound up at San Diego State. Now, the University of Hawaii, one and two for the year, and in Rafael Cherry, they've got an outstanding junior quarterback. He reminds me a lot of Turner Gill, Nebraska. Has the ability to run the football. That's not his primary purpose, but he's a great thrower, a good balance player, smart, intelligent. They've got to keep the pressure off of him. He's got to perform. He's the key man on the offense. And the key man defensively is Falanika Nanga, just a, a great great senior player uh, six foot 240 he's got all the keys four five speed 450 pound bench press ability he is a monster and he'll play at nose guard you'll see him at outside and inside linebacker he's all over the field he's husky goes wide to the right side in the slot motion from casey brown Blitz is coming from Hawaii into the flat it goes caught by Sandusky Chris out of the tackle makes a great cut eludes another he's got a first down to the 29 yard line Carl Stokes, 48, and Kurt Kavensis, number seven. Finally caught up with him. Brown in motion. McKay rolls to his left, puts it up deep. In the man coverage for Sandusky, touchdown. Boy, I tell you, he really just turned the defender all the way around. Sandusky stretched another great, excellent catch by him. Again, watch him. They're working on man on man. You got to get on him right there. You cannot give him that kind of cushion because he's going to catch it. He beat Rich Miano. That is his first touchdown catch for San Diego State. Marco Morales, extra point. It's good. He's only 5'9", 175 pounds, and he's slow. All he can do is catch the football and run like a dream. Back to play, Marco Morales will kick it off. Sails deep, Mike Akiu will return it. To the 20-yard line, first and 10. Handoff goes to Boyd Yap, the sophomore fullback out of Honolulu, and Sean McNanny, number 70. Most of that has been event against option teams. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Oh, look at him make something out of it. Now, they should flag him for intentional grounding. They do, but it was a great athletic play. Sean McNanny, there is no in the grasp of rule in NCAA football. But I'll tell you, the kid is a dazzler. That's a loss of down and intentional grounding because there was nobody. They've got a third down and 27 inside their own five. Seven nothing, San Diego State on top. Jack Baker says, let's get at it. And Rafael Cherry gets under his center, Foti Falatusi, who has uh, come in now. Blitz is threatened by San Diego State. Deep left side, it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the Aztecs, number 21, Torin Nixon. That is his second interception of the season. He's a junior college transfer his first year at San Diego State. The intended receiver was Walter Murray. It's, the game is just, it's got to be sequence and time. Watch him, he's the 23. What a little in route. The ball is too late. Watch 20. Watch him come back. 21. Nixon comes back and makes the play. It was a little bit delayed, a little bit of hesitation by Cherry, and gave him the interception. Second turnover now for Hawaii. The first was at the 12-yard line of San Diego State. This one 
at the rainbow 24 yard line. Vince Warren and Sandusky both go wide to the right side and Mark McKay looks out that direction right now first and ten. They come to the near side of the field as Casey Brown leading inside the 20 to the 19 where Daryl Williams number 23 second and five. Didn't fool him. But he squeezed it closer to a first down. Alvis Satele, number 13. Sandusky in motion. McKay, double coverage. Tipped away. Got it. Morales is now five out of eight for the year and San Diego State capitalizes on the pass interception to get three points and they now have a 10 nothing lead. That is advice and wisely so. Carpenter at the 46 yard line of course that's Schler for the injured Dan Fouts and those are impressive numbers despite the one interception he came on the field his first series drove his team to a touchdown when it appeared everything was crumbling for San Diego Luther is an avid cyclist he has ridden a bicycle from Seattle all the way to Los Angeles he's just trying to do a little more pedal work here at Giant Stadium and give the Chargers a necessary win they're one and three coming in here today Bruner meanwhile is trying to rally the Giants to a tie two minutes left Second and 15, all day to throw. Ernest Gray picks it off at the 36-yard line. He's got to get over there, get his, get his hands up. A minute 25 left. The clock is running. Broner going on top to Miller. Oh, my. It should have been intercepted by Gil Bird. But Bird let it get. Bird, a mentally tough very bright Kerman Alexander type is the way he was described by Fouts good news from the locker room Dan Fouts has a bruise a muscle bruise on the shoulder and not a separation second and ten open John Mitchell. first down at the 11 timeout giant the Giants were once behind 20 to 3 deflecting it incomplete. Bill Parcells said early that John Missler is the guy you want to go to in the clutch. He has great hands and he can get open. You see it there. You talked about Gil Bird's fingernails early or was it Danny Walters? Well, Bird's fingernails just barely long enough to tip that ball away there. 104 left. Intercepted as Bruner, his arm was hit as he don't city coming again. Exactly a minute left. Chargers lead by seven. Blitz again. And that might be rolled a fumble. Let's see. Yes, it is. Miller has the ball. It is rolled. is absolutely stunned on the other sideline. Young rookie went over and wisely covered the football. It looked to me that the passing motion actually started, but the ball slipped out of Bruner's hand. I don't believe that, I don't believe Billy Ray thought that was a fumble. He just covered it. Look at him. He just kind of trotting away with it. Of course, he cannot advance it, but look at that. He's absolutely thrilled. So the ball goes to the Chargers at the 20-yard line, and Ed Luther will just try to sit on the ball and run out the final 52 seconds 